Hello, to first set up Samsung Galaxy S24 FE, before you actually start, I can highly recommend you to click on this icon in the right bottom corner, so uh, you can actually change the screen size and the font size, so if you have any issue, um, you can actually increase the size of the text, so everything will be more visible to you. Take a look. And now we can even turn on, uh, you know, the color inversion or high contrast keyboard if you want. Then you can just simply go back and we can actually start. First of all, we have to click right here. That's like, like really obvious. And here we have to choose our region with language. So in my case, I will stay with English and the United States. Click next. Now we've got this uh, privacy. So we have to click that we agree to end user license. And you don't have to actually click here to send um, diagnostic data. Click next. Right here, we can send the send data from other devices, like for example, from your iPhone or any Android device. But in my case, I don't want to do this. I want to get completely fresh start. So I'm gonna do this to set up manually. And after you set it up, you will be still able to transfer this data. So if you want to quickly set up your phone and put data later, you can do this for sure, don't worry. As you can see right here, uh, we have to connect to a Wi-Fi network, but you don't have to do this also. But in my case, I want to actually connect. So um, what I want to do, you can actually select one of the network from the list, or you can use the QR code scanner, so you'll, you will be able to quickly actually connect. So now grab the scanner and align this frame on the QR code. As you can see, it is automatically scanned and you will be quickly connected. What you can find here that we got support for the Wi-Fi 6. Now, as you can see, um, our phone needs to restart to set up features and services from our service provider. So for sure, click on the restart. So now after restart is finished, you can also connect to the mobile network. And to do this, you will have to insert SIM card. So you will have to grab this SIM tool. It's located also in the box, but you can use any other SIM, SIM tool also. Uh, you will have to insert this inside, take a look, and press. If it's not working, release and repeat. There we go. Now you'll have to take it off. You can use your fingernails and you get two SIM slots. So we can decide. In my case, I'm gonna put it inside the first one and that's how we can do this properly. Put it like that, take a look, press with your finger, and now you can click OK. So what you have to do is just input the SIM card inside into your PIN. Um, later, you can also remove this PIN code if you don't want to get it. But in my case, I'm just going to actually take it off. Um, I just want to quickly show you how we can do this. So click next in the right bottom corner. And now it's actually preparing uh, for mobile connection. But of course, not in my case. But uh, right here, um, we can actually transfer SIM from another phone. We can scan a QR code if we have an eSIM or for example, search for mobile plans. Uh, so in my case, I'm going to do this later in the settings. Now we've got uh, another screen and we just have to wait for a few seconds. It's actually getting our phone uh, ready. Now, now we've got this information about copy apps and the data, but I'm going to do this later. Right now, you will have to sign in into your Google account. So all you have to do is just to input your Google account, click next, and then input the password. Or if you don't have Google account, you can create by clicking here and set if you are doing, doing this for personal use, for your child, or for example, for work or business. If you select, for example, the personal use, you will have to input all of this data and click next and just go forward. Then you can simply go in the another option about the Google services. So um, I can actually recommend you to turn off this scanning and you can leave this location enabled. Uh, remove this one to send usage and diagnostic data and click accept in the right bottom corner. Now we have to choose our search engine, so click next. And in my case, I'm using Google, but if you're using any different, just select, click more, tap to set as a default, and now you can protect your phone. So as you can see, we can find here face recognition, fingerprints, pin, password, and pattern. In my case, I would like to actually add a pattern. So we have to draw it, click continue, and do this one more time. Click confirm again. So if you have Samsung account, you can sign in right now by email or phone number. 
you can sign in with QR code from other Samsung device. Or if you don't have Samsung account, you will have to create here. You can create it right now. If you forget ID or password, you can also recover. Or if you don't want to create a Samsung account, you can skip the screen by selecting Setup Later in the settings and tap Skip. Now we've got Samsung service information and we have to actually accept um, this one, the terms and conditions. And now uh, we can just click Agree. Um, you don't have to actually get this news, some personalization and stuff like this. Click Agree in the right bottom corner. Um, right here we can find the automatic blocker so it actually keep our personal data safe by blocking security threats and suspicious activity. So why not? I'm gonna actually leave this enabled. Looks useful. You can find some kind of the customization services. Mm, I'm gonna turn it off. There's also smart suggestions. I'm gonna also get rid of it and click agree in the right bottom corner. And here you can choose between the light and the dark mode. Then you will have to click next if you choose one. In my case, I will stay with the light one. Now we are all set up and we can click skip and here we are. So as you can see, that's how it looks. Thanks for watching.